Do you see the beauty and the splendor of what is behind me? This is an ancient one. This is a tree that could be over 500 years old or perhaps a thousand years old. Think of the history. Think of the knowledge. Think of what this tree has seen. We do not speak its language. We do not have a word for the spirit of the cedar tree, but the First Nations people do. We don't have a lot of words to describe the deeper inner mechanisms of Mother Earth and how all the beings communicate with one another. We've lost that. Our white culture destroyed Indigenous peoples for a one reason, so they could take the resources. And we're at the very end of that. And we're just coming to the point because of the internet that the white race has to acknowledge what has happened and begin reparations in relationship to that. That is occurring. First Nations land title is exact. They have finally won. But right now, the old growth forest trees in Ferry Creek are about to come down and thousands of people are coming into the forest to protect them. Why? Because this is the last valley in Southern Vancouver Island that has intact ancient ones. The old growth is still here. And in 10 years, 20 years, this place will be one of the most beautiful spots on the planet to come to. This will be the reason people come to British Columbia and Port Renfrew and Victoria to travel and just see what it's like to be in one of the last remaining old growth forests. So if you're wondering why it's so important and why Ferry Creek is the, right now the nexus point, it is the, the place that the people of British Columbia and the people of Canada say no. And the final moratorium on old growth forest logging actually is implemented like they said they would. So this is Captain Sweep just giving a bit of a message about that. And I hope that you join the campaign. We need your support.